Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashi Goyal and in this video we are going to solve 1 by x plus y is equals to 1 by x plus 1 by y and we have to find the value of x and y. So let's start with the today's video solution. So 1 by x plus y is equals to if we take LCM xy and it becomes y plus x. Now I am going to do cross multiplication. So it becomes xy times 1 and it becomes x plus y times x plus y. So xy is equals to x plus y whole square. So xy is equals to here we are going to use a very famous identity that is a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab. So it becomes x square plus y square plus 2xy. I'm going to take this xy to other side. Negative xy is equals to 0. So x square plus y square plus xy is equals to 0. Now I'm going to multiply by 2 throughout the equation. So it becomes 2 times x square plus y square plus xy is equals to 0 times 2. So 2x square plus 2y square plus 2xy is equals to 0. 2x square we can write it as x square plus x square. Similarly 2y square as y square plus y square plus 2xy is equals to 0. So I can write these terms together. So x square plus y square plus 2xy plus x square plus y square is equals to 0. So it becomes a formula of x plus y whole square plus x square plus y square is equals to 0. So all these three terms is equals to 0. So we have to, we know that x square will be, it is a positive number. So it will be greater than or equals to 0. y square also a positive a square. So it will be greater than or equals to 0. Similarly, x plus y whole square, it will be greater than or equals to 0. So we cannot take it in negative term. So 1 by 1, we put every number equals to 0. So x plus y whole square is equals to 0. x square is equals to 0. Or y square is equals to 0. So x square is equals to 0. That means x is also 0. Similarly, y is also 0 and x plus y is 0. So, we know that here x plus y, here x and y in the question. If they are equals to 0, so there is denominator and denominator cannot be 0. So, for this equation, the value of x and y have no solution. Because they have infinitely many solutions. So x cannot be 0 and y cannot be 0. I hope it's clear and you find it useful. So please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.